lots of fun here today. Garden Grove is quality living. Discover the ambience. Settle into attractive housing surrounded by parks and playgrounds. The perfect place to raise a family. An ideal community for adults and children. Entertain and enrich yourself with Shakespeare Under the Stars. Dining, libraries, museums. Engage your child's mind in the largest school system in the county. Churches and synagogues, including the world-famous Crystal Cathedral, offer inspiration. Garden Grove has excellent medical centers and the best fire and police protection. Garden Grove, the heart of Southern California. Be a part of our community. Garden Grove, you should see us now. Welcome back to the Strawberry Special. It is the 28th annual Strawberry Festival down here in Garden Grove. And we're now saying goodbye to the Gunn High School Band, which came all the way down from Palo Alto to join us here this Saturday morning. You know, it's amazing to me, Eric, that a band would travel so far, but I just love the excitement and the spirit of parades. It's wonderful. But if you have a passion for strawberries, you're going to be here at an event like this. Senior and Junior Queens and their courts. The Queen, of course, is Mary Jameson. Her princesses are Tracy Boyd and Robin Sill. Shelley Duthit is the Junior Queen, and she's joined by her court princesses Megan Peterson and Pamela Aguirre. The Green Float Company is sponsoring this beautiful, beautiful float. It would be fun to ride out one of those, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Of course, your arm gets tired waving. That's true. I rode in a parade recently and got very tired. Look at these beautiful girls with a beautiful, lovely float. Good morning, ladies. Hi! What's uh, happening? These are two familiar faces that you can see. And this is uh, Pat Klaus along with Fred Berry. And of course, Pat is the cruise director, Judy McCoy, on the Love Boat. And uh, she was an overnight What's success as a model before joining the Love Boat. And Fred, of course, is on What's Happening, the syndicated show that's Good quite morning. a hit all over the country. He plays Rerun. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. How, How are you? Hi, Pat. Hi, Fred. Hi, Pat. Hi, Fred. How are you? Excellent. We're both excellent. We're waiting for the strawberries. Right. Oh, we have some here for you. We'll here, I've got a one. plate. Let me just I reach out. Who wants a plate of strawberries? I'm quite, I'm quite at this. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know. I know the Love Boat's on tonight. Uh, tell us, what's the favorite trip that you've ever been on? You've been to so many terrific places. Oh, ooh, this is tough. Uh, China and Egypt, I think. Oh, that's right. Oh. China, Egypt, and Garden Grove. Yeah, of course, Garden Grove. Always Garden Grove. Yay, Garden Grove! Great to see you. Bye, Pat, bye. I almost lost this baby. Bye. We have the right. El Bacal Shrine Temple coming up. And, uh, you know, it's so amazing, Eric, what the Shriners do. A lot of people think of Shriners as having fun, and they certainly are good at that and as being in parades, but they do so much work throughout the year Community for children service. in burn centers. And I've had the pleasure of visiting some of the centers and participating in a lot of things. So let's take a look. We have a lot of groups uh, here, but let's listen to the first one. Those were the banner carriers. Now we're the Legion of Honor. These men are all ex-servicemen and the official flag unit of the LB Cow Shrine Temple. Each state flag they carry represents a Shriners Hospital for the crippled children in that state. The president is Robert Digg, Secretary Daryl Phillips, all kinds of people here. We have a brass band coming up in just a minute too. Oh, I hear it already. This brass band is uh, John Misterly. And you know, a lot of these men are professional physician, uh, physicians, musicians, <laughs> and donate their time on the weekends for parades. Such well, they're as this doctors one. of music, they that's are. for sure, yes. They make us feel better with their enthusiasm and their spirit. Oriental 
Cycle Band. Now this unit is seven times a world champion. We'll have two. Here are the greeters. The men with the curvy shoes there. The curly toes and the scimitars. Morning, gentlemen. Now, did you say this is the Oriental Band, or is this a Scots Band? This now is the Temple Guard. This is a marching unit, and uh, they guard the door. The Drum and Bugle Corps coming up. You know, they won first place in competition uh, the parades in 1981, 82, and 85. I believe it. Look at those kilts. They're going to get their knees sundered if they're not careful. Falling right behind that band is the Tin Lizzie's. Each man in this unit owns a one-tenth scale 1911 Model T Ford. And of course, they maintain their own cars. Mostly, they maintain a great attitude. They are having fun out there. It's great to see grown men riding little toy cars. Isn't it fun? Hi, everybody. The Royal Chariots are following them. Now, this is a different unit. These men maintain their own customized dune buggies and they usually drive the potentate around in all the parades. Like I said, grown men in toy cars. <laughs> Dune buggy. Welcome to California. Oh, look at those metal flake paint jobs. <laughs> Beautiful. Boss, as we used to say. Yeah, boss. Coming up next, the, the Royal Chariots. Now, this is the unit of men that we've mentioned before with the dune buggies, and behind them are the Motor Nobles. They're from the Victoria Shrine Club, and each man maintains his own motorbike. And that's the largest fez I've ever seen out there. These guys on their motorbikes. Great spirit by the Shriners. We appreciate all their hard work. We really appreciate the Shriners joining us this afternoon. We certainly do. Just a piece of trivia for you. I once was in a Shrine Circus, Eric. I thought you'd like to know. And what was your With event? the girls from Petticoat Junction. We sang. We rode in on elephants and sang. It was lots of fun. You climbed out of the water tower then. <laughs> That's right. Here we have Anne-Marie Johnson and uh, Ernest Tho uh, Thomas. Uh, these are two actors from What's Happening Now. Anne-Marie, of course, plays Nadine Thomas. And... Uh, Ernest is her on-screen husband, Raj. Well, that's a handsome a vehicle they're riding. Here they too. are, isn't that something? Hey! 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 What's happening? Who's having more fun? The guys in the car or the crowd? I can't tell. Let's look at that beautiful. Hey! Hey! License plate it says Pop Top 8. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Ernest. Hi! How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Great to see you. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Just terrific. Enjoying the strawberry oh, festival. Oh, yeah. does, have we had any strawberries yet? No, we haven't had any. Uh... I want my strawberry cologne, though, to get a massage. <laughs> well, we'll have to get you some. You know, Anne-Marie, you were on two NBC shows uh, yes, last year, Hill Street Blues and Double Trouble. NBC's been good to me, but KTLA's my best buddy now. Oh. That's right. <laughs> you mean KHJ, of course. Oh, yeah. KHJ, <laughs> too. What's the like I'm a big fan of yours, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and great to see you, too, Have a good time. Having, keep having fun on what's happening. Here comes another beautiful horse. This is Johnny Johnson, and I have followed him for years. He's on his beautiful Palomino Gelding Brandy. Oh, Wonderful. what a handsome, handsome horse. Johnny's from San Diego, California, and that saddle, by the way, was handcrafted by the late Edward Bolin of Hollywood, California. It's solid sterling silver overlaid with gold and studded with rubies. Here's Congressman Bob Dornan is here. Robert Dornan, U.S. Representative from the 38th District, and his wife, Sally, and they're here to join us today. Congressman Dorn is active in human rights. He's credited with creating the POW MIA bracelet. He used to have a show on KHJ, by the way. Did he? And has become very controversial in recent years. We're delighted to have them both here on uh, their break from Washington for Memorial Day weekend. Congressman Bob Dornan.